Well, okay, so I'm here at Jennings Gym with uh, Jack Arnfield, ahead of his British middleweight title fight against Tommy Langford. Um, big news last night that the uh, Perth Bridge was won by your promoter, Steve Woods, so yeah. you're going to have home advantage in Blackpool. It must be a bit of a dream to fight for a British title back in Blackpool. Yeah, well, we knew we had the British title fight months ago. Um, but for us to win the purse bids and get it in our own time was uh, wicked. So Steve's done a good job with that, getting the uh, win the bids and getting it to where we getting it to where we want to box. Uh, obviously, your last fight coming off a win against Brian Rose, that was Brian as the Battle of Blackpool, but obviously fought in Manchester. So it'd be the first time you fought in Blackpool since you fought Mick Hall the first time, is that right? Yeah, it's a long time out. He's like I say, the Mick Hall fight was probably nearly three years ago now, so it's your first time back in Blackpool. So I'm excited to get out in Blackpool in front of the uh, home crowd, always good. And Tommy Langford, obviously the opponent. It, to me, I've, I'm looking at that, I think it's a real 50-50 fight. I don't yeah. know, you, obviously you might, must be confident in backing yourself. But in the rankings, there's one place between you. I think boxing monthly's got it. So close fight, that. Yeah, it's a good fight. Um, I'm confident in the fight. I think my boxing ability will prevail. I definitely think I'll get the win. So I respect Tommy Lampard as a fighter. I think he's a good champion. Um, he's been a, a, around a long time. He's boxed some good kids, but I definitely think he's got the edge, the fitness, the stamina, and the strength to beat him. Do you think it gives you a little bit of an advantage that he's been mandated to fight you, that he's had to take the fight? Yeah, well, we, we were trying to get the fight. I mean, even two days before on Twitter, um, we were on Twitter and we were not arguing, we were just talking, trying to get the fight revved up. And then the next day I got the news, oh, mandatory. So he, 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 was in the, he was in the line of picking um, an opponent. And then the day before, the day after he got dropped on, I've been mandated. So I think he's maybe an that he's got to fight me. He, he, for all I know, he didn't want to fight me. We've been trying for the fight for a while and we've never succeeded. So um, when it's been put to him that he's got to fight me, I think he'll... Um, I, th I think he'll get him thinking a little bit more than he would if he, if, if he obviously chose me as an opponent. It's funny that you mentioned Twitter because I think you see Tommy Langford had a Twitter poll of who his next opponent was going to be. Did you see that? Well, that was it. So the day before, he put the Twitter poll up um, and a lot of people responded saying it should be Jack Armfield. And uh, uh, like I said, the, the day after it got mandated, he was fighting me. And the fight might be in January, we've got a long camp ahead, but. If you do win, if you see yourself winning, what's the ambition then? Defend or do you look, to look for European level? Well, you know what, whatever comes, what option, whatever options come, I feel like I could, I could go straight into European level. Um, even beyond that, I, I, I've been in the gym a long time with Mark and Dave, now getting on three years. I've worked, worked hard and I think I've made massive improvements in the past couple of years. So, whatever opportunities come, I'm, I'm willing to take them now straight away. And the fight with Lanford was originally scheduled for the end of the month. That's correct. And then, is it because that's been put back to January? Is that why you're out next month in Liverpool? Yeah. So it was originally scheduled to box at the end of October, but. Um Breakdown in communication, Frank Warren never on his word uh, on the fight um, and sent it back to Perspids after like 10, 12 weeks of it being mandated. So, a bit frustrating, it was frustrating at the time, but now that, I've, it's been, now that we've won the Perspids and we've got the date, it's a, a big relief just to know that I will be fighting and, and I'm not going to wait anymore. It might have come to a bit of a shock to some of the fans that they seen that Frank Warren didn't win the Perspids. Was you expecting that or what? Uh, well, yeah, I expect him to win the purse bids. I mean, um, there was only a few that put in bids for it. And with him having Tommy Langford as a fighter, you'd expect him to want to uh, do best by his fighter. So, um, yeah, I was surprised he didn't win it, but at the same time, I'm, I'm happy he didn't win it because I get to fight for that British title in my hometown. Langford, as well, is coming back to the ring after a loss against the Georgian fighter, Kurt Div, something like yeah. that. Um, I don't know what happened there, but he's, he's been arrested, hasn't he? Yeah, so um, Tommy Langford got knocked out, I think he was in five or six rounds or something like that. Um, and he was scheduled to box Billy Joe Saunders, but he'd been arrested in America for racketeering, um, murder for hire, some serious charges, so I don't think he'll be about anymore. So, if you look at the middleweight division there, there's obviously a lot of very good British fighters. You mentioned Billy Joe Saunders at the top. Is the ultimate ambition to win the British title box at European level and maybe go for a title shot with the likes of Billy Joe Saunders or anyone at the top Anything of the like that, yeah. Anything at the top of the division. I mean, I'm 28 years old. Um, I feel like I'm coming up to the best years of my life, best years of my boxing life. I mean, I've been, I've been pro for 10 years, although I've only had 26 fights. Um, I feel now that I'm coming to my best in the next couple of years, you're going to see uh, some real good boxing out of me. So the plan now to box next month and then have a bit of time off and we'll be straight back into camp? Well, I've, uh, I'm going to box next month and then I've got my honeymoon with my wife for a couple of weeks. And when I get back, that then gives me 
um, 10 weeks until the end of January so. So you recently married and not had time to take your honeymoon? Recently married yeah so um, I got married in October, uh, sorry not October, in August um, and then we didn't book a honeymoon because we expected to box the British site in October and um, obviously that fell through so we booked it for November so I've got this fight to keep me going on the purse bids um, and then straight back into camp after the honeymoon for a good, good ten weeks of uh, nothing but work all through Christmas and New Year. What do your wife and your family think of your boxing? Oh, my wife loves it, yeah. Um, she comes from a boxing family herself. Her dad's um, done a lot of boxing in the army as an amateur, uh, even managing professional fighters. So um, she's well into the boxing and she understands what it takes to be a boxer. So she supports me through my career. Uh, how are you fitness wise now? I know you had a lot of injuries sort of early on in your career, but recently you got five straight wins. You're looking each fight as you're getting better and better. Do you feel fully, fully fit now, fully ready to challenge the division? You know what? I, I, I was. I felt like I loved with boxing, I wasn't looking after myself properly, I wasn't eating correct, I was going out and I, I weren't doing things right. The past three or four years now I've, I've really concentrated on just my boxing, getting fit, working hard um, and, uh, and the injuries are at bay. There's obviously minor little niggles to get through training but nothing really serious so um, yeah 100% I feel the, the, the best, best shape I've been in. Right, well, Jack, well, thanks for your time. Good luck in your fight. Thank um, you very much. Cheers, speak to us. Nice one, Liam. Thanks a lot. Right, nice one, Spot on, buddy. Cheers. cheers.